Hey guys, it's Leilani Lopez, author of The Devil's Heir, which is a young adult paranormal romance about demons. And today we're going to be talking about proof copies from Ingram, Barnes & Noble Press, and then I have KDP over there. Okay, so I posted a picture of these three books over on my Instagram talking about the print quality and it seemed to get a lot of traction so I wanted to make a quick video for you guys for those who don't follow me on Instagram or who just happen to find me over here on YouTube. So like I said, here I have KDP and you know it's because of its horrible ribbon that's around the cover. So obviously if you watch any other author tuber talk about the differences between Ingram and KDP, you might not really be able to tell here in this video, but I will definitely pop up a picture over here. And if you want to see it a little bit better, just go check it out on my Instagram. So as you can see in this picture, I have the three books all lined up. KDP definitely, um, I don't want to say worst, obviously, but their coloring isn't as vibrant as the other two, which everyone else, and by everyone else, I mean every other author tuber also has said. But I would say the newcomer is Barnes & Noble Press. So again, I don't really know if you guys are going to be able to see this because of the lighting, but definitely just check out that picture. I would say the coloring is actually pretty beautiful. It feels nice and velvety and the paper quality is pretty good too. Definitely on the same level I would say as KDP. And then obviously we have Ingram which has a beautiful coloring. Really really velvety feeling. Um, I do. I would say that their paper is a little bit better. So I got the cream paper and it is much softer than the other two if that makes any sense. The other guys, theirs just feels like paper but for some reason this one feels a little bit softer. So Anyways, like I said, this was just going to be a quick little video in case you guys were curious about mostly Barnes & Noble Press. So here's Barnes & Noble and Ingram side by side. Barnes & Noble, Ingram's over here. I would say their quality is pretty similar and by that I mean pretty damn good. I would say that Barnes & Noble's kind of picks up more of the blue while Ingram's is a little bit more green which isn't necessarily a bad thing because honestly it's kind of turquoisey anyways or aqua or whatever I don't know my colors <laughs> so it doesn't really matter but something that I did think it was interesting um that I put in a follow-up post so I'll post the original picture here because I didn't put it on Instagram I actually just put it in my story so it's already gone but I thought that the spines were an interesting, you gonna focus? I thought the spines was an interesting difference. Um, I don't think you can tell here, but so on the Ingram's version, you can actually see that the smoke wraps over, are these upside down? This is upside down that the smoke wraps over onto the spine so again Ingram is down here in the bottom and over up here on the KDP you can't really tell that the smoke has wrapped over into the spine so um, obviously you can you can still see the smoke but it's not as um, purpley or as gray as it is on the Ingram version so that's just something else to think of and if you're curious about the backs here we have Ingram here KDP so again, you can just see the smoke much clearer over here. Um, the opacity is much higher, so you can really just see the smoke while over here on Ingram. It's still there, but you can mostly see the uh, green smoke. While over here, you can see both the purplish gray and the green smoke. So again just a little thing so like i said this was just going to be a quick little video i'll pop up the pictures over here once again so from left to right hopefully it's on the screen in the same order <laughs> it's going to be um uh barnes and noble press 
KDP in the middle and then Ingram over on the other side. So like I said, if you want to see it in further detail, just hop over to my Instagram. It'll be over there. And if you're wondering about shipping time, Barnes & Noble definitely was the slowest. It took forever for them to print the proof. And when they say like, oh, 7 to 11 business days to ship it, they mean 11. So shipping's definitely super slow over there, especially in a world where we want things now, now, now. KDP obviously was like okay it, it it definitely took longer than I expected it to um mostly to print but as soon as they were printed the shipping was pretty fast and Ingram was surprisingly really fast so I think I paid like 50 cents extra to have um the printing expedited because I was like why not and the uh the shipping i think i got it in like two days because the thing about ingram is they actually for the cheapest shipping obviously because we're not trying to pay an arm and a leg they actually don't let you know when your book is shipped or give you a confirmation so you're kind of just waiting but that one happened to get to me really fast maybe it's because there was a printing press near me i'm in california in the bay area so it might be different for you guys but anyways so that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully it helps some of you guys out and good luck on your indie journeys. <laughs> Bye guys.